deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. And the fact of the matter we have said over and over again that the religion of Islam does not allow the killing of innocence, that one injustice does not allow another injustice. Allah Azza wa Jal explicitly says in the Quran that whoever kills an innocent soul, it is as if he has killed all of mankind. And dear brothers and sisters, no religion allows such evil to simply indiscriminately kill 50, 100 people in this manner. You don't have to be a religious person even to understand. The sad fact is that we, the very fact that we have to condemn is itself a sad reality. And this leads me to my second point. Once we have condemned and once we have unequivocally said this is not a part of our religion, we now have to ask ourselves and ask the broader society, why should I even have to condemn when any other massacre and any other mass shooting is never condemned by the faith churches and the groups that are associated with those mass shooters? When Dylan Roof perpetrated his massacre and he killed eight or nine or ten people in a church and he did so in the name of his race and he invoked a cause that he himself believed in. The very people that belonged to that race did not have to issue statements. The people that belonged to that civilization did not have to dissociate because it was understood that a crazy man is a crazy man even if he acts in the name of a race or a civilization or a religion. The church that Dylan Roof used to go to did not have to come on CNN and talk about, oh, what are they doing to counter radicalism? And the sad reality is that we are not being judged according to the same standards. We cannot even grieve with our fellow Americans except that we have to as well condemn and we have to become on the defensive that this this is not a part of our civilization. And we have to ask the broader public, we have to be courageous enough to call a spade a spade. Why is it that anyone who goes crazy of another faith community is a lone wolf? Why is it that they have a mental issue? And yet for some reason, everybody in our community never has any mental problems. This guy is a mental lunatic. There's no question about it. Something snapped in his head, he did what he did. A sane person does not do this. And if you read what we know, of course, he's still premature, but there seems to be personal issues. He's gone through a divorce, his wife has left him, etc., etc. Clearly, there are issues going on. There are mental issues. Every single time a mass shooting takes place from the broader public, and of course, the stereotypical mass shooter, as we know, is a Caucasian male Christian. Every time this happens, wallahi, within a few hours, we begin to hear about what happened in his childhood. Went through a severe divorce, the parents had this, he got involved in this. You find some type of excuse to blame other than broader culture, other than the society itself. Yet for some reason, when a Muslim goes mental, it has to be the religion of Islam. Wallahi, we are tired. We are tired of these double standards. And somebody's got to stand up and call a spade a spade. We also have crazy people like you do. We also have lunatics like you do. Why is it that every time one of us does something, he becomes a representative and an ambassador of the entire 1.6 billion Muslims? We have to point this out and say with every single ounce of courage and strength that we have, enough is enough. I represent myself. He doesn't represent me. Mainstream Muslims are represented in the masajid. We represent Islam over here. Every masjid in North America is packed with people praying. What was this guy doing at a bar? What was this guy doing at a location in the nights of Ramadan that none of us are going to? He doesn't even, he did not even go to the masjid. His wife said, he was ex-wife, he left, his wife left him. His ex-wife said he wasn't even religious. He used to drink what not, has nothing to do with the deen. Yet just because his name is a pseudo-Islamic name, all of a sudden he represents all of us. Brothers and sisters, we don't have to apologize for something we didn't commit. It's not my responsibility to apologize. I condemn like I condemn every massacre. But we don't have to apologize for something that we did not cause. Oh.